Today, after popular request, in one simple video, I'm going to show you how to install skins, face packs, club badges, club kits, player faces, stadium pictures, literally everything to transfer your game from looking a little bit boring to looking like this. As you can see, the skin's beautiful. We've officially got the badges. We've got player faces. And if we actually go onto a club, so for example, we click on Haaland, we can see how much nicer the game looks already. But if we click on Manchester City, we can actually see right now, it's a lot more detailed. It's a lot more beautiful to look at. The kit's in the top right, the stadium, the badge. It's a lot better. Let's waste no more time. Let's get into it. So the journey starts with the downloads and don't you worry i'm going to have every single link in the description below but some of it you have got to decide yourself so obviously the skins variety is absolutely incredible there's so many and there's going to be more and more as the game is out longer and longer simple as that now you can use some of the fm23 skins on fm24 but in today's video i'm going to show the one that i have that is going to be the work the space skin obviously if you want to know who that guy is absolutely incredible creator himself but obviously there are loads of options to choose from at the moment might not look that incredible because the game has literally just come out but if you click on it or usually they give you a very detailed sort of description of what it does some pro preview what it can look like obviously this is literally the one that i have and what you do to for, for this is simple all you need to do is click download now and what we're going to do is i'm going to download a little bit of everything and show you exactly how it looks like when you download it so let's go ahead and click download on this and obviously all it's going to do is open a new tab and i can see it downloaded now in the top right any second it should come up hopefully Otherwise, the video's done. There we go. It's downloading in the progress. So that's going to be one part of the package done. Up next is going to be them stadium backgrounds. Now, mine was from FM23, but this one also looks very good from FM24. And as you can do, it's going to be completely free, all of this stuff, by the way. You simply can hover over it and go to download. The link is going to be in the description to all of these, by the way. On this one, you can see here you've got different options. You can get the player and staff backgrounds. You can get all sorts. For us, we're simply going to have this one, the stadium backgrounds pack. You click on it. It's going to say right now, obviously, you can sign up for 83p a month. You don't have to. A lot of people do get tricked by that. But what you can do is, well, not trick, but sort of get a little bit sort of, do I have to pay? You don't have to. You can go down here and actually get it for free from the files and simply click that. Now, I am not going to do that because obviously I already have one, but that is how you get it for completely free. Up next is going to be the player faces. Now, again, I'm not going to link a certain one. I'm going to link the entire section because some people like different things. So, for example, you can have the cutout, which is basically a PNG version, in my opinion. You can have this, which has got a nice little white background on. You can have a more realistic action shot of the players. And also you can have them look like trading cards. Now, again, Again, same thing applies, sort it out inside website. The download process is exactly the same as we previously just discussed, but it is down to you guys to pick which one you want. So for example, I like all of them, but say you wanted the cutout, you click on download and this is where you can get it from. Now with this one, it is going to be 11 gigabyte of data. So it is going to be quite a big file as you can expect the thousands upon thousands of player faces there are to download. So with this one, it is going to look a little bit confusing if you want to download it for free. But if you are comfortable using it, you're comfortable how it works, you can simply download it via a safe torrent download link. So that would be my piece of advice. And up next is going to be the kits. Now there is a really good FM24 one that is going to be the standard kits mega pack. This makes the game look a lot more realistic in game and just looking at clubs in general. And again, exactly the same progress, a uh, progress process, sorry, as I said in the past previous options where you simply hit download, you go through that process, get it saved to your computer. And essentially it is that simple. None of this stuff is difficult, but for your first time, I can see why it can be confusing. And lastly, and probably the biggest one because this is by far the most questions I get you know what are your logos where do you get them from etc etc because the end of the day without them the game looks a little bit incomplete so they have got absolutely loads right now you can even get the trophies mega pack from sort of out si which again looks really really good in game but you can sort of see what you want now so this guy has gone to a lot of effort here to have a water effect on it you can have the stone mega pack which i think is what i've got to be honest steel all sorts personally i think i would go with this one or something like the basic because they look really clean and again you would simply download them and that is going to be how you actually do that side of things but how do you get them in the game. 
do want to quickly say though guys if you are enjoying this tutorial please do consider leaving a like on the video and leave a comment right now on what team you're currently managing at fm24 if this video can get up to 50 likes i'll release the same video but a guide on mac so do let me know but let's crack on and show you how to get this in the game i am also going to link this in the description but i will say that it's a completely safe file to download you are going to need wimra again a complete free program you might have used this for other stuff but if you haven't essentially this just makes it a lot easier to extract these files into the folders that you're going to have to make so definitely go and pick it up it takes about two minutes to install now so once you have downloaded those files now for you you are going to have a few more options in here that you've downloaded for me i'm going to show you one example and you would replicate this for everything you're going to be doing so what you want to do is first of all is make the files that you're going to need so i'm going to go over now and tell you the files you must have in your fm so what you want to do is go over to your doc documents in your computer and here you're going to see obviously yours is going to look a lot different for me this is what i have but what you want to do is is go over to si's folder click on this one and go to football manager 2024 and what you want to do is make sure you have got all of these folders replicated in yours as well now you might have some of these that are going to look a little bit different or maybe you don't even have them so you might have to make one for graphics simply type whatever you see that you don't have as a folder so it matches the options that i have on here and therefore you're going to have exactly the same options as i do and you can put everything into the game so once you have got them done this is going to be the next part and it really is as simple as this guys so if you go over to your downloads you click on this which is obviously going to be the skin this is the work the space skin all you need to do is right click on this go to open with and then go to the WinRAR. And what this is going to do, you don't need to pay for it, don't worry. This is a common meme across the internet. It always asks you if you want to do it. The free trial has ended. Don't buy it. You don't need to. Simply close the pop-up right there, and this is where it's going to come in. So what you want to do now is you want to click on this, right-click on it, and go to Extract to a specified folder. Now, what you can do here is you can click onto your documents, and you can click onto that folder, go onto FM24, and go onto skins and simply click OK. Now, this is for the skin alone. I am going to talk a little bit about how the other things come into play as well. But just for the skin, we'll focus on that for now. This is what you want to do. So simply click OK. For me, it's going to say, do I want to replace it? Of course, I don't. For you, it's not going to say anything because you're not going to have that skin. For me, I'm going to hit cancel. But for you, it will come up with a nice little green bar saying that it's going to move it across. And that will go directly into the correct folder. So now, essentially, with you guys, you're going to have a few download options in here, aren't you? You're going to have the logo pack you're going to have essentially everything so what you want to do is you want to extract them into the correct folders which i'm now going to show you so for you guys you're going to have a lot more download options in this obviously for me i've already got them so i'm not going to re-download them because it'll get all confusing but for you you're going to have several options here all you want to do is replicate that exact step of sort of extracting them to the correct folders and just to show you them correct folders we're going to head over back to the documents and you boys by now should have the exact same stuff so you go into fm24 you're going to have this we've dealt with the skin that's done now in terms of getting everything else in there it's really simple all you need to do is go over to graphics if you don't have one make sure you've got a graphics folder click on that and i simply put everything in there so you can see right now i have got the kits the mini stadiums the standard logos faces and I have got all of these. I'm not going to scroll through all of them. You can see how big that actually is going to be. But they are all going to be the stadium packs. And they automatically get translated into the game when you next load it up. And that is how simple it really is to get stuff into the game. Now, don't get me wrong. The skin is a little bit different. It's not going to automatically load in. So let's go over right now and show you how to get the skin loaded. So picture this. You just loaded up FM. You're not sure how to get the skin. You're a little bit confused. All you need to do is get to this main menu. Go to preferences. You can filter through look through the options but just type skin simple as that type skin in and what's going to happen here down here you're going to have the football manager skin and the work the space skin so for example obviously i am not going to click the football manager and reset it but i'll click on this one again and it won't let me confirm because i already got it but essentially you'll click confirm it will reload your game with that skin and it's as simple as that, guys. It's a very straightforward process once you've got it in. And to, in my opinion, the results are actually really, really worth it. I mean, you look at this right now and you're going to have a complete game, which looks just absolutely incredible, to be honest with you. You've got so many different options to look at. You've got the player faces. You've got the badges. The real key thing for me is obviously the whole skin changes the game. But also, if you go onto a team, it looks so much more professional, so much more realistic. You've got the player badges. You've got the kits. You've got the stadium pictures. So much. All of this looks better as well. 
must needed thing in my opinion in the fm community everyone has these downloaded so be sure to hop on the trend and change your game because you guarantees you're gonna love it if you have enjoyed this tutorial guys please do leave a like drop a little subscription below and turn on notifications but that's gonna be it for me boys and i will see you in the next one and if you guys did enjoy today's video here are going to be a couple more videos i'm sure you're gonna love down here, you're going to see my previous video, and here is going to be a video I personally recommend for you guys to check out. Trust me, you're going to love it.